It's candling time. I am actually like four days late on doing this. You're supposed to candle them at seven days. I think it's 15 days. It's more than a few days. No, actually it's 13 days. Today's 13, I think, day 13. So update on the incubator. It's been working great. Um, I think the only thing that I've been kind of a little concerned with, and it might just be my, my own one, um, I, I might reach out to the uh, manufacturers. I'm gonna see how this hatch rate goes. But uh, in the instructions that say that you might have to add water like once a week, but I'm having to open it up and add water to raise the humidity back up to where it's supposed to be like every other day, which could be not such a bad thing because if you think about it, um, try and replicate as close to natural incubation as possible, uh, hens don't sit on their eggs 24 seven. Like they do occasionally every day or two get up to go get some water, maybe some food a little bit. So there are short periods of time where the eggs are exposed to some cool air. So maybe in opening the incubator up every every other day or every two to three days and adding water, it's kind of closely replicating that. So that is one thing. Um, I also noticed that in the top here, there is a hole right above the uh, fan right there. And there is no cap. Um, I'm assuming that is intentional. Um, to pull in fresh air, but I think that is where I am losing my humidity. So I don't know if that is, like I said, this could be completely intentional. So, but that's been going well. Um, been keeping the humidity where it needs to be. Uh, another thing, once again, don't know if this is an issue, might be totally fine, is that the eggs, when, it's, when the sheet is rolling the eggs back and forth, it's been doing pretty good, but you'll notice if you look in here, there's, let me see if I can maybe show you. So you see, where is it? Okay. There we go. Okay, I need to focus. Okay, so you see how that egg is kind of turned? That egg is kind of turned to the side where they're supposed to be sideways like that. So I don't know, it's still rolling. Um, Basically what I just do is whenever it's time for me to add water to it, I just kind of straighten the eggs out. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, I don't know, it might be fine, might be totally fine because they are still being turned. Just, I don't know. So, but we're gonna go ahead and candle the eggs and see how they are. The last time we candled late, um, I wasn't able to verify the Americana eggs because the shells were so dark. So, um, we'll see. And I'll, I've never can't, I've never uh, done Moran eggs. These eggs might be too dark to even candle. So we'll see. Lid off. All right, here we go. So let's, that looks pretty, pretty solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and just assume that that took and it is going. So we're looking for one, see? That, that terminated, that stopped growing. That should be well past that point, so we're gonna go ahead and dispose of that. Um, look, I'm walking on light. All right, we got another one that stopped developing. kind of see through on that, so I'm going to assume that one did not take. Oh, that looks solid. Alright, oh buddy, I have some bad news. Oh, it didn't take. Yep, Speckle's egg did not take, unfortunately. Well, we can try next time, buddy. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. Ah, it worked! We lost, we lost a few. We're gonna go ahead and dispose of those, so this is what we are ended with, and we'll see how they go. They disappear. There we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and get the lid back on them, get the humidity, make sure that it's still good, and let them sit. Uh, good news is I fixed this. It's increasing now. All right. 
So that brings us to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of, I think, 46 that we started right off the bat. Um, but that could have just been duds. That could not be, that might not be because of the uh, incubator. So we'll see. Um, they are set to hatch. Uh, we're got a week, got a week left. So um, I'll let you guys know when they hatch. Uh, like I said, maybe we'll do a live whenever they are actively hatching and you guys can tune in and see some chicks hatch. And then we'll also still do a vlog whenever they're hatching to see, to go over what our hatch rate was um, and such. So if you guys saw the last vlog where Mocha um, kitted finally. Um, Hi, sweetheart. Hi, <laughs> honey. Uh, I have some sad news, unfortunately. Um, so everything was going really, really well. The babies were doing great. And the next morning when I came out to check on everything, the doling was dead. And I'm still not entirely sure what happened. Um, I tried to do some research because, I mean, there was nothing that was telling me that there was anything wrong with the doling whenever she was born. Uh, they were both super healthy, got up immediately, nursed. I watched them nurse. They were nursing very good, so I know that she got colostrum. Um, and so I was checking forums, and the only thing that I could think of was that that night it was set to get a little chilly. Um, nothing like cold though like it was set to get to be I think it was gonna be like mid 50s like 55 degrees was the, the lowest it was gonna get and I had them in the trailer with lots of bedding I even laid out some hay for them and um, I mean they have first they were completely dry so I did not think that that would be a concern so I'm wondering if maybe when they were sleeping together like, I wonder if Mocha might have maybe laid wrong and accidentally smothered the doling. I don't know, um, because there was, there was no blood. It was just kind of laying down in the trailer near the wall where they, I, I, I really, I think that might have been what happened. And, um, I mean, thankfully, the little buckling is okay. He's doing good. He's getting around. What? Oh my, hi, what are you doing back there? Oh, oh. he's doing good, thankfully. Um, I cried my eyes out because we were actually kind of thinking of keeping her. So that was not what I wanted to wake up to. I wanted to wake up to two bright-eyed little baby goats. So, um, so we buried her in the backyard and I m closely monitored the little, the little uh, buckling, but there's, there was no other, there's nothing wrong. Everything was good, as you can see. We've been handling him daily. <laughs> you wanna climb up on my back? What are you doing? <laughs> He's parkouring off my back. Oh, he is so playful. We thought this was gonna finally be a uh, a birthing season with no issues, but I guess that just goes to show that you, no matter what you do, sometimes things that are completely out of your control can just happen. And I mean, Mocha, she, this is her second time she's kid. The first time she had issues um, where she neglected both the babies so maybe this is just her inexperience i don't know oh, we don't know so <clears throat> so i'm just trying i'm trying to not let it get me down i'm trying to not let it get me down I, I cried my eyes out i got it out of my system and i'm trying to just focus on the positives we have a healthy a healthy little buckling who is doing wonderful. Mocha is doing wonderful. She is in great health, thankfully. 
There was a period where I had to milk one side out because she, little one here, was just focusing on one side, which can happen sometimes. So um, I milked that side out, and ever since then, he's been keeping up with it. Hi, you want it? You want? You want? You want my attention? You've been jumping all over me. You've been parkouring off my back. Hi, Mocha. You've been such a good mama. You're figuring it out. You're doing really good. So, <laughs> he's, he's starting to get to that playful phase. Hey! <laughs> what are you doing? Hey! Hi, honey. Oh, look at you, sassy pants. You just want to play. Do I need to get a bucket in here or something for you to jump off of? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, look at you. So, um, we've got them here in the backyard so we can monitor them. Oh, yes. That's so sweet, baby. Hi. Hi. So we'll probably keep them here for uh, a couple weeks until he's big enough. We'll take them back out to the pasture and get them set up in their own paddock separate from the other goats so that the other goats can kind of acclimate to him and uh, cause, cause goats can be bullies to babies and Sophie's, Sophie and Waffle have never seen a baby goat before so we don't want them to hurt you cause they just might be scared of you and your big buff self. Whoa! Oh, go with you. What are you doing? Oh, I know. Oh, look at you. What are you doing? You just want to play. You're so ready for play. Yes. Do you want to climb on me? Is that what's going on here? You need something to climb? You need something to climb? Oof, oof, oof. Oh, you want to play? He's getting very playful. So, I wish I was collecting names for two baby goats, but unfortunately I'm only collecting names for one now. So this is Mocha's little buckling. He is brown with white spots. He's got two little white spots on his back. And he's kind of got some little, little socks here. What are you doing? Oh my goodness, <laughs> he's got so much sass. Oh, look at you. Oh, you want to... There you go. Go ahead. Get it out of your system, little bud. Oh, I see it. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. So, we've been, like I said, I've been trying to... We've been handling him daily, so he is going to be very gentle, just like Sophie is. We will not be keeping this one. Um, he will be... Uh, He'll be going to a new home when he is old enough. We're gonna keep him with, with mom for eight weeks and then we'll wean him. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. And then, but we'll wean him and uh, he'll go to someone else as maybe a weather for a, to be a companion, a pet, or maybe he'll be, oh my goodness, maybe you'll be a buck. Are you gonna be a buck? I'm thinking weather though, so. Uh, with goats though, you cannot weather them out too early. I think it's 20 weeks. I can't remember if it's 18 to 20 weeks or 20 to 24 weeks. Um, because you want to make sure that their uh, urinary tract is fully developed. Because if you, if you castrate them too early, uh, it can develop, they can develop urinary tract issues down the road. What are you doing? You're so curious. <laughs> what? Oh man. I need I need to get some obstacles in here for him to play with. What are you doing? Oh look at you. Look at you beef up. Oh look at you. Oh man. Oh yes. Does that feel good? Oh, is that a scratchy you couldn't get? Yes. How you doing, Mocha? I know, honey. So, um... Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> you weaving? Hi! <laughs> what are you doing? 
<laughs> what are you doing? He's, he's definitely, uh, he's warmed up to us a lot. He's not really scared of us anymore. He comes running up to me now, so that is good. We have been doing a good job on handling you because we want you to be sweet. Will you be sweet? Yes. Are your mama calling you? What are you doing? Oh, oh, it's your baby. Yes. There's your baby. Now tell him how sweet you are. Oh, scratches on the head are good. Yeah. Oh. Hi, honey. So, leave a comment down below with uh, name suggestions. Uh, we'll look through the names and we will get together a, uh, a vote. Next video, we will announce the possible names and share the link to go and vote. And then you guys will get to choose what little little buckling's name will be oh my goodness you are so adventurous you're just like into everything aren't you now um just so you know little man here he is a nigerian dwarf myotonic fainting cross so his mom mocha is a fainting goat and his dad is saffron a, which is a, he's a Nigerian dwarf. So Mocha, Mocha. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, you just looking for anything to jump on, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> so this is his mom, Mocha. Hi, honey. Oh, I know. Hi, baby. So this is Mocha. She is a fainting goat, and um, I'll share a, a picture right here of his daddy, Saffron, for you guys to see. Um, but also keep in mind their names. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of feeling partial to uh, calling him Frappe. <laughs> Would you be a Frappe? You're so cute. So, I'll keep you guys updated, and uh, I can't wait to see what names y'all come up with.